you don't see rabbit brush, you don't see some of the grasses that they work in and around Butte. So that much difference, that much geographical distance and uh, lower in elevation might cause differences in what we should use in, in restoration and we should not. I don't know if they had actually in their seed mix, for example, sagebrush, which is a really successful species over in our climate in Butte, but here it's not present. There is another invasive plant that is, I'm, I'm seeing it spreading, not that badly, but those sticks that is, um, yeah, oh, no, that's a nettle. Somebody's fishing from our group. <laughs> so um, I will collect one and bring it here. Somebody knows what this is? They call it uh, uh, ranchers or farmers uh, toilet paper or cowboys toilet paper. I'm not quite sure, but it has actually this really nice big uh, hairy leaves. Feels good if you use it as a toilet paper, honestly. <laughs> oh. But this is not green anymore. It's called mullen. And uh, it's also a Eurasian plant. You know, if you see them here in that stage, you probably need to be careful. The, I know that they do spot spraying for uh, some weed species, but, you know, for example, that might have been actually killed during the summer because it's really dry. Maybe they spot spray, they targeting these species. Because we saw that species, like you see that berm there, all those individuals, just the, kind of the second level, all those sticks, sticking out of that that berm that's all it and it can be taking it over some people don't think this is a serious invader and it will actually disappear but if there is certain situations right for it that it can cause damage okay you can see that cryptogamic crest is also somewhere quite uh, significant that's because it has a lot of water to it and in this time of the year they they kind of green up Anything else? I, I kind of now look maybe for some questions or topics or of discussion. Why didn't you go fishing yet? I was listening to you. <laughs> just go out. Go. Just go and we just walk back and maybe no, you can catch something and like... Right, I, can't, I can't come because then my... The student, all the other students will kill me, right? If I just start fishing with him. And he videoed it. <clears throat> so we had a couple of species if you... You know, when you, when you came from down there, you see all these different plants. There is a, a horse tail that is also many times associated with moist areas. This is, a, I would say, a horse tail species. It's called Equisetum levigatum. There are other species, but there was a lot of snowberries as you walked down from that area. Um, really different from what we actually see in, in Butte. No, no, horsetail is not. Horsetail is native, actually. Uh, I don't think any acquisitum species in the United States would be uh, non-native, right? I don't know about it. Would you actually say or ask anything? Correct me. I would be happy to reflect any questions. If the logs are contaminated, why keep them here? Why not move them? I, I don't know if they are, and it may be, it's not significant. But I think, you know, as they were sitting in that arsenic contaminated situation, they might be, but they just used it here as structures for... Well, I can feel like it, le it leach into the... Could. Into it, especially when it's wet and like it has that opportunity to... Yeah. Up and so I don't know, Ivy, about that. We should have, we should have brought our um, um, <coughs> little gun and then, then figure it out right away. Next time, if if we are good, we slowly will try to uh, walk our walk back to all the cars and people who will go back.